Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. As you can see, we've made money selling milk. Oh, what a marvel. 40 grand as well, that's going to help so much. I'll, uh, I'll show you what I did to, uh, to help with that milk production. I was busy. After the last episode, I was busy. Busy, busy. Now, I got my worker to cut in here so that we have the fresh grass. But I spent ooh, another hour or so getting the the wet grass that's now in here as grass silage as you can see top left hand sort of corner silage grass uh, 300,000 litres not bad I put some hay in here uh, which is now run out on this last feed of or last fill of the robot and use the last of it up and I put food in here because I thought I was we've only really got 300,000 instead of like I don't know, four or five hundred thousand litres of uh, silage grass because I thought I'd have a little look see at what would come about of me adding just the cut conditioned grass to the cows if we go find our cows out here it's all run out now <laughs> typical but the cut grass put a little in all of these I got these up to like 20,000, 30,000 this was up to 130,000 and again base was up to maybe like 40,000 uh, so we had quite a bit of feed and oh I say quite a bit a little bit, it, they were all still red we had like I don't know, one fifth of the capacity and that one fifth just overnight got us 40 grand plus the robot is still topping up every now and then so I don't know I might still keep the robot as a little uh, top up thing and I put some more bedding down and our manure overnight as you can see is immense because I wanted to see what this was so we've got a load of straw in here but they will use that straw up really quick as well so much manure it's insane but what I want to do today, I've already set a worker up, cut this, and this should be super thick because it has the cut grass that we planted and it has meadow grass in that we painted. I'm sure that's all going to be here. That found me. Loads. I've done the same with the beef cattle. If I quickly run on through. I should imagine these are getting empty now as well. Uh, hay, it's run out of hay in here, so we need to put some more hay in for them because the TMR sort of does uh, manage them. But you can see they've got 210,000 litres worth of food, so I'm going to lose my voice. I'll cut that one out. <laughs> um, yeah, so they've, they've got quite a bit of food. If we go back into our animals, you can see this got some some base, some moisture, some power food, and roughage, and thus just from a bit of TMR and me putting three or four load wagons worth of uh, wet grass in there. So today, a little bit we're going to be a bit behind on our schedule. It's September, and we need to be planted. So I'm. Um, going to stick a worker uh, in our um, New Holland I don't remember where that is we get them out into one of our fields they'll go plant some barley where's the New Holland anyway, yeah they'll do that, we'll get some barley planted and uh, we'll come back and we'll sort out some more of this grass work for our cows that's our plan so our worker is set up they are seeding they are plant barley in field three we're going to get our worker to go the wrong way we're going to get our worker to row up the cow fields and we're going to go behind with the loader wagon and we're going to see what difference um, fresh grass makes as opposed to um, sort of conditioned grass wet grass Fresh grass should be better. 
because I didn't think the conditioned grass was going to do as much as it did. And I'm sure if I understood it right, the fresh grass is, you know, up there. This is the bee's needs. So if we get this set up, we'll jump back in the Lambo. Hopefully this will go pretty smooth. They were super efficient in cutting. They finished that other uh, cattle meadow before I'd even set up the uh, the working field free over here. So we want So they should just pretty much go round and round. Start that. Jump out. You know, I I think a big part of why they finished was I did have issues with my uh, my course play work, and they wanted to go off in a completely different direction from what I'd set them up. But that's not, not too bad. Right. Ooh, connect, sir. Connect. Don't know why that would have been disconnected. As for the quantities, I'm not quite sure what we'll have um, when it comes to this sort of grass. I don't think you use uh, silage additive with it. Well, we're not putting in the silage clamp anyway. But I don't think it works with it because I don't think you can put the fresh grass in the silage. You have to condition it for it to go in the silage. Or to go in the clamp to turn it into silage. Anyway. Yes, the sea has got uh, three moistures, so it's, it's, it's wetter than our last lot. It's super fresh. So yeah, we'll put this in with the dairy cows and we'll see what difference a full uh, wagon does to the, uh, the feed sliders. And then we might just crack on with um, doing what we need to do with um, getting the stones and things like that. I just wanted to get some more feed in there for them. I might top up the uh, the robot game with the hay. That seemed to go well in there. In in the actual feed troughs, it just does roughage. It doesn't do nothing else. So the hay is only good in the TMR, whereas the grass is now good in in the feeding area, so it's sort of flipped. There's good more use, and fresh grass, you know, would be better. I'm sure of that. I'm sure everyone would rather feed their, their cattle fresh grass as opposed to uh, anything else. Where's our work? A shot off to. How about? take a slightly different route from what I thought they would. Anyway, I hope you're well. You're doing good. Enjoying your farms. Enjoying whatever else it is you do. I'm looking to get some trucking recorded later. Either today or tomorrow. Get a few of them on there. If uh, I've not been trucking for a little while. It spits and spurts when I do the trucking because I can only do a couple of them together. So... Hopefully we can get a few of them on the schedule. We're nearly at capacity here, 95. Sorry Mr. Cow, you get run over. Lovely job. So we have got 44,000 litres of fresh grass. Let's go stick this in the dairy and see what we get for it. Should be good. I'm really hoping it's good, if not, if not, we should have <laughs> should have um, conditioned it just so we can put it in for silage ready for TMRs. Fine, it'll be fine. It's gonna be good. Confident, 100% not. There's 300,000 liters of silage. It's not gonna go far. We need to. Uh, get some of that straw out there that we're using for bedding because 
That's always got to mix TMR. Come here, I'm just getting in. Give me angles right. And we'll have a little look at the sliders as we do it. The feed sliders, so you can see. So we're in the zone. If we go back to the animals, go to the top ones. No, no, no. Empty. Let's see what we get from 40,000 meters. See that bedding? That was max um, last night. And now there's next to nothing there. So this is not bad. 20,000, 13,000. 8,000 and I don't think it's added to the roughage if it did it's just a little because I'm sure it was 60,000 anyway so that's not too bad yeah if we get both of them rolled up while we look after our little grass our little meadow that we're making um, I can collect that up at the end of today and get that sorted so let's go get ourselves a stone picker on lease so we can tidy up a bit. We've plumbed for the the base model ELHO Scorpio. It's coming back so just notice there is another big field of corn. There's a lot of corn and a lot of sunflowers at the minute. I guess they're all going to come in and then maybe they're going to try and get a second crop in with wheat or barley later in the year. I think our AI are a little bit more efficient than I. <laughs> but it is very tempting to uh, to purchase one of these corn crops. Just because then I don't have to lease a planter to get the corn uh, for corn silage. Maybe you can even do like cracked corn, crushed corn type stuff. I'm sure that can go into uh, TMR as well. I think our worker has either finished or got stuck. Stuck. Got stuck. Let's just sort them out. What are you doing? I was only just complimenting you earlier. Now you're gonna mess it up. Let's put you where you need to be. As I hit a tree, I am no better <laughs> than AI. That's not a good thing, is it? if I can find where they're supposed to be. Uh, hard to tell. That flash one I think is where they're, where they're meant to be. If I just leave them there, hopefully they'll find their own way. And that'll be naughty and jump back. Right, let's get back to doing what we were doing. I'll, I'll need to go move them over to the other field in a second anyway. I'm sure they can wait until I've cleared the stones. It shouldn't take me long to do the stones. One would think. It's not that big of an area, is it? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Just cannot shift it. It's going to be with me until the new year, just so you know. Do not go. I've said to a few people, that's a weird blood thing, that means I don't have a, a very good immune system. It just doesn't build up immunities. So the slightest thing just sticks with me forever. It'll just keep building up on me. It's getting worse. Let's just move that twig out of the way. I might actually see me do some uh, stone picking. Just kind of flick it in there. Can't really set a worker to do this because of how uh, irregular it's going to be. So I think this might be the first time in about, I don't know, 70 episodes, 80 episodes, <laughs> that I've done some, uh, done some stone picking. On here, I don't think we did, did any for a long time on um, Ube. Right. 
stones and find the rest of them. There's no stones in the bit that we um, subsoil, that's all good. Some little, little off cuts of wood over there as well for you to catch these down. Let's go back up. I think you'll be surprised how much extra grass we'll get from doing this. Not just by uh, incorporating the meadow back into it, but by doing the land around it, it'll probably be the equivalent of another small field, so we're going to need every, every ounce of grass we can get from now on, because I don't want to have to sell the cows. The goal was to fill both uh, pastures with dairy and beef, and we could, you know, we could try and be insane and continue that as our goal. Why not? Who says we can't have 1,600 cows with Maze Plus, eh? Who says we can't? We'll just buy lots more fields, make lots more meadows, four day season or four day months, smash it, show the world. You want a good head of cows? Especially if just the fresh grass and the the um, huge me floppy thing you did, the uh, conditioned grass can uh, boost all three or four um, feed sliders, then chucking some of that in every now and then is going to help. It's not great, but it's going to help. We can, like I say, we can get a big field of beets on here. And then we can swap that over to something else, hopefully, thereafter. Although I think beets take a little bit longer to grow than potatoes, we'll see. I think beets are just easier because we don't have to do the whole plant like you do with the uh, potatoes. You can use a normal planter to do the uh, beets. I think we've got too many tracks in there. Like that. Not to worry. I think that'll need fertilising as well. That's going to need fertilising. It's obviously going to, clearly going to need weeding. Get a lot of weeds in there. But our other fields. Although, did we subsoil it? We did, didn't we? So, does subsoil not work in the same way as ploughing does and remove the weed state? I felt sure we subsoiled all of them, apart from uh, the one next to field three. It's not field four, <laughs> but the one next to field three. I thought that was the only one we did subsoil. I guess we'll find out. We may be doing some spraying later this year. We've got a weeder. We can run a weeder through. We have to be quick, because once they start to grow, the weeder doesn't get them. I think we had that the very first time when we were doing weeding, that the weeder did not take out all the weeds and we still ended up having uh, patches of weeds in our fully grown crop because we couldn't afford the sprayer. Hopefully both of our workers are doing alright. One of them might be finished. Yeah, one's finished. It's filled full. So field four and three, they, they should get sown today and tomorrow, hopefully. And then we'll do a big fertilising and uh, I guess a big a big weeding. I'm hoping the worker I was up in there is going to pay attention to the uh, tracks. Sorry, I'm having brain moments. Um, <laughs> Yeah, to the tracks we're putting in. Because it's a worker, obviously they're going to automatically cycle through um, the rows. So I'm sure I gave them five before they dropped their first. So they did four, 
do one headland, which would be four drops, and then an extra veil, which would be fifth. And that should be it for them. I think that's everything we've got. 700 litres, right. So we'll get this back, we'll empty that, and then we'll, uh, we'll see about there in the next job. I feel like we're getting, getting somewhere now. Feeling a bit more comfortable. I felt panicked last two episodes. But we'll get this emptied up, we'll get this returned. I think, while we're doing this actually, we're going to just check in on our big old stock of strawberries. 400, 400,000. We click on it, change output mode, there we go. To sell. How long do you think that'll take to sell? 400,000 litres. Does it do it like on the hour? If you pay attention, suddenly at 1 o'clock, will we get a shed load of money? Because we've got so much via strawberries at the minute. So we've got a storage hall of strawberries as well down at the brewery. I need to work out what else I need for chickens. I've concentrated on cows. I need to know what else I need for chicken feed. That might be me going back to my uh, my friend disturb simulations and finding out unless someone can comment in the next few days what it is we need for chickens. Hopefully the lamb moves out of the way. Return. Return. There we go. Right. Back to the farm. We go. Well, the rain has come. It's just hit one o'clock. Look at that. 489 grand we're on now. So it was uh, 300 and... 12,000, 312,000 we got for selling strawberries. That is crazy, they should all be gone. Mental, love it. Right, we're gonna go back to storing. Ah, oh, see, just when you think it's getting tough, it just, that <laughs> just does that to you. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Had a, had a fortune of, uh, <laughs> of straws in storage. Some of them have been there a while, I bet they're a little bit <laughs> a little bit on the turn. Already turned into jam. Okay. Just gonna get that ready because we will be if I jump over, we will be uh, putting some muck on our new areas. I just want to get the uh, the John Deere over and rolling up the other meadow. With all our dairy cows in. Oh, that is, that is some money. Another bit of land, anyone? Oh, but what if I do? More grass, please. More grass. Man's gone grass mad. Just because I've gone cow mad. I am adamant that we're not selling them. Adamant. We can uh, maintain them. We're good enough. we got them skills. Fact, we are a skilled dairy farmer. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. We just maybe need an extra day to do it, or a slower day, because we are we are going, you know, so you know a little bit, a little bit not so frantic. Yeah, a little bit frantic. A little bit frantic getting this done. close the gate on the way out. Let's uh, unfold it. Try and get ourselves lined up. If I remember rightly, it work it didn't always want to do stuff, but hopefully the 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 the, the course play worker will. All this work going on, do we need a, do we need another tractor? No, because we've got the Deutsch sitting there doing nothing. Silly. Okay. So let's uh, generate. Why not sit? Oh, I see you can't. Could not generate course. The log may have. Okay. 
solution. So this is one that we had issued with before, isn't it? Maybe that's because I've put the other grass in here. I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay. Well, in that case, we shan't be doing manure just yet. Let's get rid of the uh, sweet cursor. I need to make that pink again like it was before. Let's do this ourselves. Nice wet fresh grass. It's getting dark though. We'll put our light on. Maybe the cows will get out of our way. So this job will probably be our time lapse for the day. We're running out of fuel. That's not good. And also uh, our worker in the other field popped up saying that they had run out of seed. So we need to uh, pop over there and sort them out. So I'll, uh, I'll get this put away and uh, we'll go see if we can uh, get some seed over to field three. I think there may even be a bag of seed out there. They thought we'd crack the doits out for a delivery run. Got a couple of these uh, big bags on the back. I need to get these used up so I can remove the mod. It's a good idea, but I just have the issues not being able to fill the way I want to fill, and they don't want to fill into the storage uh, container. I think our other big bag is loitering around on the other fields. So we'll probably leave these down here when we do that field. trams in the complete, oh, complete opposite way from what I would have done it, but that's the way the work wanted to do it. I think for ease, that is the best direction to work. Let's see if we can fill off the trailer. That will. That's good. Because I still haven't uh, <laughs> sorted out where my uh, open control is. I don't know where that's disappeared to. There we are. They should be good to go again. Watch your bell. Be a little pull, that's fine. <laughs> Very much kind to let us be a little uh, thing of a job. So hopefully they'll get back on that. Their uh, rows are going to be all out of sync now. Never mind. This is what it is. Should have said it. They're going to drop a count because they, they raised and lowered to be refilled. Anyway, we'll squeeze this around here. Just going to drop this seed off. Down at the, uh, the next field. Well, actually, if I said there's one here, I don't need to do it. I'm just, just wasting time now. We'll check if there is one here. There is. And this is the field that we did in uh, subsoil. Okay. Well, I want the, uh, the cedar back up to do the grass soon anyway. So we'll take this back up. I'll leave the seed on the back here just in case we need to transport it about. But let's get back and uh, spread some manure on our new uh, to be meadow. While I'm over here, I'm just gonna top up the uh, bedding. I know it's not essential. I don't think it's essential now with uh, Maze Plus still. But I like it, I like to have the manure. And uh, my friend Comrade has told me I should build the manure factory thing and convert all our slurry over and, and do stuff. But I want to keep the slurry. I want to do that. And I'm fine with our manure. I'm sure that it would be a cost effective way of doing it, but it's adding another process into our already very busy schedule. So I'm going in. Slowly but surely. It is slowly but surely. A little 
top up. Just sort of empties the key in them for now. We're probably going to have to do a bit of bedding every day, the way that they're getting through it. Which is good, we've got a hell of a lot of straw. I just don't want the Keenan sitting around. I don't want it to be a habit of sitting around with stuff in it. We're going to have to start looking to do TMR on a regular as well. We really need to start tidying up, putting things away. I think we can sell our animal trailer though. I don't think we're going to be needing that anymore. I think even when it comes to uh, selling our beef stock, if we do it uh, manually, we're going to need a bigger trailer. We'll be able to do it with bigger trailers, it's easy to get to there rather than trying to weed through this complex of the dairy. Those words were in the wrong order. Right, let's fill this up. Again, this isn't going to fill all the way. I think the Lambo has less power, so it probably won't even hit the, well, it does hit the 71% the, uh, the New Holland hit. But we're just going to chuck some muck down where we've um, just been done our stone picking and done our subsoil. Just to help bring that back up. I think we probably probably need to do these meadows as well, don't we? I think they need a bit of muck. Initially I said we were gonna um, just to slurry it, but I think I think this would be a good idea since we're over here and we're doing it. We use up the manure while we got it. Well, that's saying, there we go. Parts of it don't need it. Let's bring up our little... Yeah, some of it's fine. Ah, I know what we need to do. And I meant to do that a while ago. We need to do all these. Some of this information is very out of date. So we shall purchase information from all of our land. This is going to get expensive. We are way too busy to uh, try and do this ourselves. One day we will pull the fire crop sensor and go around. Some of this should be pretty good, some of this feels pretty new and uh, we do tend to do it as we feel. There we are. So that's how we're looking now. Definitely need to be getting some on. So yeah, we'll get this done and uh, we'll see what our planter is doing, our cedar at their end, on the end of this. So I, th I feel like we're getting, getting on top of it now. Uh, they obviously <laughs> our, our feed troughs are pretty empty still, but we do have all that fresh grass uh, from both pastures, we can get that in there. Hopefully that's going to help out for a little bit. We've got the hay that we can load up, we'll get that done. And we can afford to buy another field if need be. Oh, that's what I'm thinking as I was driving back. We want, I want beet. So we want beet. I want beet. So we could purchase a field that already has beets in. That wouldn't be a bad thing. We're not going to have silage though. See, everything's got to catch up. We need silage to put in our mix. We need hay, we need silage beets and we've got the uh, mineral feed we can add for like power food. Silage isn't going to be ready, we've got 300,000 litres of it. That's not compact anyway. So I need to compact that, I need to get my feed in, I need to require some, some sugar beet or potatoes. I need, oh, I need so much. I need to write a list, I need to spend some time <laughs> writing a list on what I need to uh, be efficient and successful now. The, the game has changed. Maze Plus literally is a game changer. 
and I, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the new challenge and that's, that's that is what I like about some of these mods that turn up. It just changes changes everything up so much. But it's it's a different game now. You have to do things differently, you have to work. It's super efficient. It's super cool. It's something that can add so much. Let's try and get this done. What I'm going to try and do is uh, muck spread the whole new area and this whole meadow. Uh, I'll probably do that off screen. We do a lot of this, and the video is probably getting long, so uh, I'll catch me at the end of the spread. Well, I think that's pretty much this whole meadow covered. There's a patch right at the top, which used to be the horse pasture, that's been dug up, plowed up, whatnot, a few times, and that doesn't seem to want to take any extra fertiliser at all, although it's not as green as the rest of it. You can see where the fertiliser's not gone. It just wasn't interested, doesn't want it. Why that is, I don't know. Verdum. Just doesn't want it. Not gonna force it. It doesn't want a cup of tea, it doesn't want a cup of tea. Them's the rules, people. So we'll get this parked up. I'm gonna stick the wagon on the back of the Lambo. And I'm gonna spend my evening to say bringing in the fresh grass and try and feed up the fill oh fill up the feed trough feed up the fill troughs. Gonna fill up the feed troughs. Get them uh, hopefully producing. If we can get enough, at least for another 40 grand's worth of milk as well. Be a bit half a million. Half a million and yet somehow still struggling. <laughs> we should be able to afford to buy feed. But I don't want to buy feed. I want to make it. I want to do it. Them's, them's be our rules. Did I tell you that gate open? I did. So uh, I'll get stuck into this one. How's my other worker getting on as well? Let's have a little uh, butchers. They're still going, but they seem to be sitting still. Let's just uh, jump over and have a little look at the old town. Yeah, stuck on a tree. wonder how long they've been like that. It's annoying that it doesn't always tell me that the worker is stuck. It annoys me even more that the worker gets stuck. The, uh, the AI. Well, let's say if Giants will definitely put out another game with me. We just need to sort out the AI, it's horrific. Absolutely horrific. And I'm using force play, I know, but still, AI is horrific. Even if we had one of those um, little tower things, it doesn't make no difference. It's just a it's just a crappy expense that shouldn't be there, isn't it? To be honest. Anywho, I haven't grumbled for a while, so there was my little grumble. Like, make, make better AI from the start. And I don't even think that them little towers make the AI better. I think when that got introduced, AI got stupider, and then using the tower made AI, AI go back to normal. <laughs> I swear that's what they did. Made it more efficient and quicker. Well, it can't go no quicker than the machines already worked, and they did that. So you, they must have just slowed them down in returns. That's the support that it done. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. It's now half past six. We started at seven. So it's been another 12 hour day again. Doing what we can to be as good as we can. I'm just not sure what to do about silage and hay now. How we're going to get that built up. Next episode, we might buy ourselves another meadow. We might be going back to the grass work. Uh, for a while, uh, do another meadow, get some more silage in, We've got some hay. I want to keep putting hay in my robot feeders until they're empty, then we're going to toughen up the feed a little bit, allowing us to get something from our cows, even if we just use it on the calves actually. It's a shame I can't empty out the dairy robot feeder and just transfer that all over. Well, I mean, I could, I could go into the XMLs and do that, but I want to do it in game. Um, so yeah, that's, that's something we've got to look into. Not look into, we can't do it. 
but something that we need to look into is how we're going to manage the, the hay, the silage, the grass. Getting, getting the beets, I think we need to buy another grass meadow and buy a field with some beet already in it. So that's, that might come next episode, so there could be more purchases, more excitement next time out. So uh, make sure you tune in for that. But that is it for today's episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out the videos are online. As always, comment and feedback down there. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me how you're running your maze plus. Or if you're not bothering with it because it's too hard or too complicated, let me know in the comments. As always, come and join us on Discord. Plenty going on there. It's a nice, small, but growing community. And uh, yeah, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.